Hi Pisces, it's Karen and welcome to your weekly tarot reading. So this is a reading for any uh, sun, moon or rising Pisces. We're going to take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the big ideas or awareness for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so the awareness of the week, we begin with the tower, major arcana. So the tower is about a crumbling foundation. It's about a shock or a disruption to your daily routine or to bigger issues that you face. And so something may fall apart. Something may dramatically change for you. And yes, at uh, first glance and when you first get that notice of it, it may hurt, it may feel overwhelming and very, very upsetting. But the view to thinking about the tower is that sometimes the universe works in mysterious ways and magical ways and it forces the disruption in order for you to gain clarity, to gain truth and to have a chance to rebuild a foundation that is better for you, that is the right fit that's going to bring you fulfillment and contentment. So while you may experience the, you know, uh, the feeling of perhaps being lost or this, you know, they're, they're free falling and you can be scared, but ultimately things are going to work out better for you. Many people say it's a blessing in disguise. And if you can, look at this, if this is with respect to relationships or a job or friendships that go south and, and fall apart, then there's a reason bigger than you of why this is happening. And so you just have to try to do your best to hang in there. So if you are able to do that and to, you know, allow the disruption to come and just kind of say, oh my gosh, well, I guess ultimately I'm going to be in a better place. Here's the six of wands and that is affirmation and confirmation to you that yes, you will feel much better. You're going to feel like you're a success. This is a rider who's riding in with his uh, victory wreath on his, on his head and on his wand. And so, excuse me, this is about reaching your goals through hard work, through discipline, through mindset, through visualization, through teamwork, leadership, all of these qualities it takes to become a success. And so you will be able to ride out whatever happens here and ultimately be victorious. And so, you know, you have to focus on the future. You have to focus on the work that you're doing now to cope and to move forward. Okay. So for guidance, you have been working hard and you may feel burdened this week and you're going to have to really pay attention to uh, you know, what's going on? Are you taking on too many obligations, responsibilities? Are you covering for your team? Are you, you know, your team at the office and, you know, you notice that one of your teammates isn't picking up the, the responsibilities that he's supposed to do, he or she, and you're like, well, I'll just take care of it. I'll make sure it gets done. Those little things add up and that adds up to stress and it adds up to resentment. So 
while you may be phenomenal in how you approach your job or your relationship, once it gets out of balance and you feel that you're having to do all the hard work or the heavy lifting, then things can, can go sour pretty quickly. So it's important for you to think about how you can lessen this feeling of having to shove and push these wands up the hill. And again, wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, fire energy, delegate or say no. Whatever happened to saying no? Remember when we could just say no and not feel bad about it? It's like, you know, you know, we always had to come up with an excuse. It's okay to say no. It's simply okay to say no. But if you're able to take care of this to not let yourself get overworked or overstressed out or financially burdened, here is a fabulous, beautiful card, the Ace of Cups, a gift or blessing from the universe, a gift and the potential of love, of a relationship, of a connection, of a spark, something that's going to make your heart fill with joy. And that's a pretty powerful feeling. And so what are we seeing so far? We're seeing clearing the decks here, clearing the existing structure, doing behind the scenes the hard work that we're in, moving forward to victory, to getting reward. We get a little sense here of doing probably too much hard work, overburdened, but ultimately having joy and delight. Your guidance is to express yourself, allow your emotions to flow. If you are ticked off, if you are still upset about this tower change or this disruption, let it go, you know? Express your feelings, don't, don't bind them up, let them go. If you are now ready to meet someone, you know, be authentic with your emotions, be real. Perhaps maybe the thing to think about is not to overdo it, but just at the right balance of emotional energy. This card has so much promise of happiness, of real happiness when it comes to our connections and to our relationships. So, uh, as I say, trending upwards. So now let's look at possible outcomes. Interesting. Two cards and two cup cards about uh, not finding happiness yet and thinking about your situation. So while you may be trending upwards and working on things, you're maybe not quite there. And so possible outcomes, the eight of cups, it's about not finding your happiness, not finding fulfillment or satisfaction with what you have and the abundance that you have that you are going to walk away and leave them behind. Now, with a grain of salt, we can look at it this way, that perhaps you just need more time alone to think about things, to consider. Maybe you go away for a weekend. Maybe you are working on some things and you still need time to work things out. And so time alone before you start focusing on the emotional connections may be important to you. But often this is walking away at the dead of night, leaving abundance behind because for whatever reason it's not suiting you. Doesn't mean that you can't go back, but there's something here that is making you feel that you have to get away. And, and then here's the Four of Cups, which is this is about either feeling, again, discontent, feeling bored, feeling stagnant, or simply needing to pull yourself away, solitude under the tree, arms are folded, there's a sense maybe of poutiness here, but you know, when you're so focused on your own deal and of what's going on, you may miss an opportunity. You may miss an introduction to someone that could be a love, a love chance, a chance for love, a chance for a great friend, 
a chance for this emotional bond that may be very important to you. And taking time alone is fine. Nothing wrong with taking time alone, particularly to consider and to contemplate. But if you are always under this tree and if you're never going to get away from that and to, to move on, then you're, you're fulfilling this victim prophecy. You know, you're, you're not, you're getting stuck in a place that's not going to allow you to grow and to have victory and to have successful relationships. So I see for you some disruption. Ultimately, you're going to have this sense of success. You're going to feel good and feel the sense of reward from whatever has happened. You're going to have to think about how hard your work or the stress that you feel from the obligations. Ace of Cups is a very positive card. Opportunities for you to meet people, to have these rich, deep connections. But you still may be having second thoughts and you still may need time alone for yourself to work things out. So let's see what the cards would like to tell us for meditation or a focus area for the week. The more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. So it's really speaking to the faith and the faith that you have in yourself. And it could be faith in God or divine source, uh, faith in the universe. But when you have that faith, yes, you become more free and you become more fearless because why? because you have faith, and faith brings hope. Powerful thoughts for the week. And now let's choose a card for spirit or emotional self. Vulnerability. This is confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. So we're seeing the word fear a couple times with these oracle cards. And yes, when the tower happens, we feel vulnerable and we feel a sense of fear because it's fear of the unknown. So really an important message is to have faith. And finally, let's take a look at love. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Eight of Cups. Time to disconnect. Time to take, make time for yourself. Solitude and retreat and reflection here. And again, make time to retreat, to focus on yourself, to rejuvenate, to recover, but don't stay disconnected for too long. Work on a plan to come back. So this is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, share, or comment. I hope you have a great week, and I hope you'll come and see me next week as well. Take care. Bye-bye.